Hello everybody, this is the Humble Gamer back for another episode of A Hat in Time. A bit of a different one, we're going to take it easy today. Uh, I thought you guys might like to hear Hat Kid's Diary. I have all the entries up on my phone and I'm going to read them out, uh, the ones we have gotten so far anyway. We can't read them in game because the diary changes for each chapter and you can't go back. So the diary entry in game is for the uh last world we did in in dead bird studio so i'm just going to read all of these act by act and i'll remind you of what those acts are as well so you know what she's talking about but i just love these diary entries because they're super fun and uh, and, and once i've read out the ones we've already done I, i'll try and come back and uh, read each entry as we finish uh, each world or each act in each world from now on so act one mafia town uh, the one where we had to just basically find the first time piece and get our umbrella back so, I am stranded. A big guy in a chef's apron and a suit knocked on my door and decided to mess everything up. Apparently, they're the Mafia of Cooks. Why couldn't I have gotten stranded near a normal planet? So, that's Act 1. Act 2, Barrel Battle. This was the one where we had to fight the Mafia dudes on the TNT barrel pile, and then the one on the top was throwing barrels down at us. Um, I'm not super sure what that was supposed to be. Some big loser stood around and threw barrels at me. Some even had spikes on. Who has spiked barrels? So that's Act 2. Act 3, she came from outer space. That was the one where we got muddy in a muddy puddle. And then the uh, Mafia got scared of us because they thought we were some blood-sucking leech or something. Uh, wow, and I thought the regular Mafia were weirdos. At least he had a timepiece I could take. How do they keep finding these things? Who knows? Who knows, Hat Girl? Uh, Act 4, Down with the Mafia. This was where we fought the Mafia boss. No wonder these guys are so dumb if that's who they put in charge. I guess nobody's the boss now, though. Whoops. Oh, well. You had to do what you had to do, Hat Girl. Um, yeah, Act 5, I'm not going to read because we haven't done that one yet and we can't do it yet. Act 6, Heating Up Mafia Town. That was the one where we uh, uh, had to not touch the floor because it was lava. Uh, it's so hot. Something seriously wrong has happened to the island. It looks like a huge volcano went off. The Mafia guys are too big and tough to admit it, but the heat is definitely getting to them. Mafia guys get way smelly when they sweat. Well, way smellier. There you go, it's Act 6. Act 7, the Golden Vault, where we had to collect the tickets to open the Gold Vault. You know, I've been seeing these tickets all around Mafia Town. Blue, red, green, yellow. They're kind of pretty. I have been wondering where they all go, though. And I've been wondering what the Mafia could be keeping inside those things, too. Well, today's the day I'm going to find out. And you did. You've got the, the timepiece. Uh, chapter 2, Battle of the Birds. I'm only going to read Act 1 because the last one we did was Act 3. So I'll read that after doing uh, Act 2 uh, later. I, I hope we do it this video. I just met the strangest group of birds I've ever seen. Ever. One is a big disco penguin and the other is a bird-ish thing. Is he even a bird? I have no idea. Birds don't usually have teeth, but this guy does. It's creepy. They're fighting to see who could make the best movie that's in quotes because no one really seems to want to fight except the conductor so there you go that's all of the diary entry so far except for the last world we did because it was act three uh i want to try and read these in order so you know uh, i suppose actually i could read it I'll, I'll read act three why not since i'm here since i'm doing it you know and then we can just come back to the diary after each world from now on Picture perfect. So this was the last world we did where we ran around getting uh, turning into a diva, having pictures taken of us and, and all such things. Oh, and we also said the word fuck. So, on live television too. Holy shit. Uh, oh my gosh, that big penguin DJ said I could be a star. I wonder if he means like a pop star. Wait, do I have to learn how to sing? Maybe an internet star? No, no, a movie star. DJ Groove says he's going to take care of all that stuff. I just have to show up on the set. And I'm going to be famous. I can't wait. I just hope I don't have to sing. Well, there you go. That's all of the diary entries, all read. So now I'm going to go to World 1. Uh, and we're going to do some collecting of ponds. Because uh, I, I really want to be able to buy some badges. And uh, I'll also collect a few yarns that might maybe, le maybe left over. And some relics and stuff as well that might be left in there. I'll speed up the collecting, of course, in post. But... Uh, uh, when I collect like important things like yarn and and uh, other things, I'll I'll um I'll I'll stop the speed up so I can tell you guys about it. Do 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 to go into the mafia town. Go into the mafia town. Do 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 do. This is gonna take some time, isn't it? Oh shit! There's Act Five. Oh okay. 
Uh, well, uh, I suppose I could say this. This is Act 5, right here. I suppose we can open it now. Cheating the race. Uh, so, obviously, I said uh, just previously we're not going to do this yet because, uh, as you can see, there's a big lock on it. Uh, we actually can do this without the special item that it wants us to use, but it's quite difficult. And I'd rather just show you the, the, the item you can use. Also, I, I suppose I could also show the, the, the cheap like non-item where you can do it after, but, but we'll leave that until a later time. Uh, for now, I'm just going to pick one of the open world versions, I think the Golden Vault. And, uh, and I'll get back to you guys when we, uh, when we actually get to anything important. I'm just going to collect ponds. Ah, right, okay. Uh, so, so straight away, I've gotten to a yarn that I couldn't get to before. So this one, you just need the, uh, the ice cap in order to get over here. And you just come up to uh, to the top of this tower here. There's actually another ice cap over here. And I think this might also lead to something. We'll see. Uh, oh no, this just leads downwards. Okay, this, this is no use to us. Alright, fair enough. I'll get back to you guys. Oh shit, wow. Got brought all the way down here. What the hell, man? Oh, well, this is good actually. This is... Um, this is where one of the other yarns is that we haven't collected yet. It's just over here. You actually see this at the beginning of um, the, the act where we get muddy. Uh, but you can't get in here. You need the ice thing to break that open so you can get in. Uh, how do you get out though? Do you just jump back up? I guess yeah, you just jump back up out. Alright. Well there you go, there's another yarn. Ah, there seems to be a relic out here in the middle of this uh, pier here. I don't know where this is. It seems to be on one side of the island. If we open this up... Oh, that's another yarn, not a relic. Okay, I thought that was a relic. I think uh, the relic we want is um, is that shop guy right up at the top. So we'll, we'll get there eventually, but I'm just going to continue collecting. Okay, we're back up here now. All right, I think I'm gonna get this for for uh, before I forget. Hold on. Can I not buy it in this world? I'm supposed to be able to talk to this guy, and he gives me a relic. I, did I already buy it? Hold on. I should have a backpack, right, where I can see what I've got. Oh, I guess I did already buy it. Okay. You can see all our relics in here. We've actually got quite a few. Oh my god. Okay, I had no idea I'd already bought that. Alright, well that saves me time then. I'm just going to go uh, collect some more ponds, I guess. We need a lot more than we have, for sure. We have 313. We're going we're gonna to need a few more than that. Hey, there's another yarn. Okay, I forgot about those. Yeah, these guys, sometimes when you rescue them, they give you yarn. Alright, well, that's another one collected. There's another yarn. Oh, there we go. We're collecting yarn like gangbusters here. How many yarn do we have now? 12? It's not enough to make the next hat yet, but it's it's getting there. It's getting there. We've got all these spare yarns now. Ah, uh, there's another one. Right there. Beautiful. Ah, here's another thing. Is this a relic or a yarn? It's a yarn. Okay. 
thought it might be. Oh, what is this? With how limited the dress code is around here, it's not surprising this place is boarded up. Amazing. Oh my god, you can actually come in here. The hell? It's just a guy sleeping in here, what the fuck? That's weird. Okay. I think I'm almost done with collecting ponds anyway, guys. Um, we've got over 500, so I think that should be uh, more than enough for what we need for now. Uh, I just want that scooter badge, really. That scooter badge is very, very useful to have. Uh, especially uh, early days as well. So, oh shit. Uh, I'll be done soon. Okay, 555. Five, five. That's I think that's a nice number to leave on. Uh, okay, so now that we've done a lot of pond collecting... Uh, which took a while. Uh, I think we can we can leave uh, and and we can we can go to to we can go back to, to Dead Bird Studios. Although actually, uh, oh man, we, we probably want to go back to the um, the badge seller guy to buy the scooter badge. But maybe I'll leave that until uh, until I've sorted all these videos out first. I got to make sure that all of this comes out well. Let me see if you can actually buy it here in World One. Hold on. Welcome, young. You can. Okay, good. Uh, these two are use. Oh, significantly reduce the cooldown when. Oh, that's pretty good to have actually. Could actually afford that too. But the scooter badge is 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 my primary thing right now. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the scooter badge. Um, do I want to buy it now? Or do I want to wait? Um, screw it. I'll buy it now. Why not? Uh, I can obviously once all of this is sorted and I know how long this is I can I can decide like what I'm gonna do in terms of uh, Whether I'm, I'm gonna carry on or I'm gonna uh, <clears throat> Stop early or whatever um, But this episode has been very chill uh, just just sort of right running around grinding for ponds so that I can buy badges But yeah, I think we've done pretty well so far. So let me let me see how how this came out Okay, so I've got some good news and some bad news uh, good news is we've got several minutes left in this video bad news is if I want to you know continue on from where we left off with the dead bird studios the next level takes like 25 fucking minutes so we're gonna have to get started here because I've figured out a place where we can actually stop uh, to, to, to cut this video and go into the next one uh, but we're gonna we're gonna need to have to, to get on with it in order to get there on time so our next level in dead bird studios our next act is murder on the Owl Express. Uh, so this is one of um, uh, what's what's that? The conductor. This is one of the conductor's films. Uh, well, it's his only film. <laughs> he loves his trains, and uh, DJ Grooves loves his attention whoring. He he really likes to do that attention whoring shit, man. Oh my god. <sighs> murder mystery. Will we figure out who done did the murder? But there's been no murder yet, so we should take our time with that. Welcome back, Lassie. Well, I haven't written a script for my next movie yet, so we're not recording. You big liar. I know you're lying to me. I'll call for you when the script is ready. I'm sure you will. All right. I love this level. This level is absolutely fantastic. I can't, uh, I can't remember why it's so long, though. Oh, no. These bloody birds. Why, hello there, fellow owl. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. No, I don't believe we have. As you can tell, I am also an express owl. I do much hooting. I'm sure you do. From one owl to another, we can share details, yes? What is your uncle's sister's maiden name? <laughs> So this this would be like you know your aunt or mother essentially, uh, if that's something you wanted to pick. I'm actually going to pick my mother's maiden name, which was Mary, Mary, Mary. Quite contrary. Uh, these will all become important. Uh, these questions were being asked. Uh, they they are included in this murder mystery story that we're about to take part in. 
All right, all right. We're going to talk to all these guys because they all have pretty funny dialogue. Do you care about security? I care about security a whole lot. Speaking of security, today's episode is sponsored by NordVPN. No, it's not. <laughs> Oh god, I wanted to when I was practicing this, I knew I had to make that joke when I actually recorded this. You should not be going around telling information to strangers. It could be a security risk. There's a lot of things you shouldn't be doing with strangers, not just telling them details about yourself. Don't hang around strangers really. Um well bit, mm, it's a bit of a strange statement to make. Eh. I can help your daily life become more secure. What is your favorite combination of letters and numbers? <laughs> I wanted to figure this out early on, like, but I, I could only come up with one thing, which is leet. Leet. If uh, can I put hacksaw in? Hold on, hacks. Oh, hacksaw will fit. Oh my god. Hold on. I don't know why I spent so much time typing that in. I think I just spent a minute there doing that, but. Uh, that, that, that one answer doesn't actually have any purpose in this mission, by the way. My favorite combination of letters and numbers. Yes, Leet Hacksaw, the, the classic, absolute classic. Did you notice that there's suddenly a lot of crows on this train? I did. They all gone on to the last stop. Speaking of, at which stop did you get on the train? What do you mean you fell from the sky? Yeah, I fell from the sky. That's how, that's how I get into my that's how I get into my missions, dude. It's how I start my missions in this game. Helps improve self-confidence and relieve stress. Does it now? Did you also know that pets can have pets? It is true. Is it? Unfortunately, us express owls are not allowed to have pets. It is a sacrifice we must make in the name of hooting. But if you had a pet, what do you think the name of your pet's childhood pet would be? <laughs> All right, I've, I've picked a pretty good name for this, I think. Uh, it's a classic. You'll know this one. L A. You got it yet? Lassie, of course. Is certainly an interesting name for a pet, even for a pet's pet. Well, I mean, I can't think of a more pet's pet name than Lassie. Let's be fair here. All right, we've still got a couple more questions to get through. Uh, so we'll get we'll get that done. Have you noticed all these crows around the place? I certainly have. They keep asking for personal details, and I never know what to answer. Well, I, I know what to answer because I've heard these questions before. So, all right. Oh, hello, fellow Express Owl. I am stuck on an advanced mathematical and scientific issue. Okay. Do you see this advanced formula on the blackboard? I cannot decipher it. Can you decipher the scientific formula for me? What does it say? It seems to say DCB 4 IL uh, O S E Although that could be a zero and not an O Well it says something loose I, I actually don't know what that's supposed to say Don't do be lose? Do something? Dib 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 I lose? Dib I lose? I I have no idea what that's supposed to say. I see. The solution is. Uh, 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 it was obvious. Thank you, fellow Express Owl. Oh, I think it means do do something d something before I lose. Is God? And that's thank weird. You for agreeing to the terms and conditions on uh, the backside of the blackboard. You what now? On the what? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, that is fantastic. Yeah, it's really difficult to get settled down on this train with these crows crowding the place. They keep interviewing me about everything I do. Okay. Uh, and what about you? What do you have to say? How is this a scientific equation of any kind? It's just scrambled numbers and letters. Like those you see on an online form. Yeah, I thought that. <laughs> it's interesting for sure. Uh, what about you, Hello, sir? Express Owl. Do you ever wonder what it would be like to be a superhero? I suppose. The most important feature of a superhero is the name. Every superhero needs an intricate name to their fame. If you were a superhero, what would your name be? 
if entered on an online form with standardized account identification requirements. Oh, I didn't think of a name for this one. Uh, I'm going to have to come up with a name here. Hmm. Figured it out. Gunther. Absolutely, yes. Great. I can already imagine it. Oh. Oh, you. Savior of justice. Well, he's mighty, but I don't know about a savior of justice. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, these guys. I love this mission. I'm taking it so chill today, though. I shouldn't be. But we, we have we have a lot oh Us express owls all have parts of our body we're ashamed of. This is why some owls choose to pluck their feathers. Which body part of yours are you the most ashamed of, fellow express owl? You can actually put the answer you think here if you really want to, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to instead pick nose. Carrot for nose. Express owl. You shouldn't be ashamed of your God, I love this mission so much. But you'd better get your checked out by a doctor. I read online. It could be a sign of bird flu. <laughs> oh my goodness, these guys, they are the funniest. Alright, we're gonna collect that. And I think Oh oh there's a, a thing over there. Hold on. Oh shit, can I even can I even get up here? I can, okay, good. I thought as much. Um, I was in the middle of saying something, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, right, of course, yeah. We, we can't uh, go through that door until we come up here first. Oh, dear. Well, this video may be a bit longer than I was expecting it to be. But the next episode is going to be 20 minutes in and of itself. Wait, don't come in here. I lost my contact lens somewhere. Please don't step on it. I can't move out of the way. I might step on it myself. <laughs> oh, you poor guy. I'm so glad I don't have to wear contact lenses. That would suck, dude. Okay. And this is where I'm actually going to leave this episode in this room. I have no idea what the hell all of that was. I, I, I just stayed so quiet there to read all of that stuff. Um, this episode's probably going to be a little long. Next episode will be a bit shorter because it takes just less than 20 minutes to finish this whole level from here. So uh, I will talk some more next time and talk properly next time. But we've done a lot for this episode. Uh, in fact, actually, the first 12 minutes were recorded like a week ago. So, uh, yeah. Oh, well. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.